Marketplace 2022 was extra special for me this year. Uh, six years of going to the event, and this year I was recognized as the service disabled veteran owned small business of the state of Wisconsin. It's been years uh, of attending, not just attending the event, but putting the work in within the community, talking about recycling, talking about veterans, taking care of those throughout the entire community, and to be recognized is huge. Uh, as Green Up Solutions, we're the parent company of Camel Crew Junk Removal and other brands. We focus on the environment, we focus on the empowerment of veterans, and we also focus on education throughout uh, high school, school systems, college school systems, and then even small business owners. So really excited that we've been recognized this year as the service-disabled veteran-owned small business by the state of Wisconsin at Marketplace, presented by the governor. Because I know my strengths, which is making noise, starting fires. Yeah. Uh, I need a fire and keeper. I put them out and right. get no, 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 no. We don't, we don't put out fires. Yeah. Fires are good things. Yeah. I mean, we, we maintain. Yeah. There we go. I'm a huge fan of saying saying yes to all things, right? When it comes to RSVP, like you know, there's this this idea in the world that we we grow up and we're not accepted or not welcome. It's like no, you are. You just got to be open. Continuing to serve my community in a different way and using my voice as a veteran to tell that story. With Green Up Solutions and also Camel Crew Junk Removal, as far as growth, the, the challenge that I've seen a lot, uh, whether it's small business, big business, or the, the average layperson, they think about revenue, and, and revenue does you no good without profit. It was great hearing you talk about cash flow. Yeah, yeah. Talk about some of those things. Like, free kids. you can make so okay. much revenue. Congrats. Doesn't matter. I still, I still hang out with Yuri and Jay. But the challenge, everyone's like, oh, I did $1.5 million. I'm like, how much money did you make? 1.5, no, no, how much money did you have after it was all said and done? Well, I don't know. And it's like, well, how are you supposed to live the life you want if you don't start with this is the number I need to to feel successful? My daughter, my daughter's eight and does the same thing. So I'm like, the whole time I'm listening, I'm like, well, how old is he? Because my eight-year-old daughter goes around and tells people what to do. She's never right, you know. But I appreciate the initiative. In the, in the military, we call that embracing the suck. Be, being an entrepreneur sometimes sucks. You either, you either turn away or you lean in. Yeah, I mean, fundraising is is the full-time job, and then occasionally you get to do the thing, which is. People get into business and they want to do the thing, right? You want to serve the community. But as an executive director, a CEO, president, whatever the, the, the HMFIC is, right? Head motherfucker in charge, right? For all the people at home. You're, well, you use a leadership team, right? And when you, when you invite your leadership team into those conversations about vertical integration, right? Upstream, downstream, right? How do we spend less money or make more money? The, the ingenuity they come up with is, is amazing because their perspective is different. Like okay, what, what's your business? I'm I'm marketing marketing Mikhail, they want to like okay, yeah. so what does that mean? What do you do? Yeah. Public relations, How are you? marketing, yeah. advertising. Yeah. We help yeah. you grow yeah. your okay, business. Okay, I got videos, it. Yeah. Training videos. You're a oh, yeah. I, I bring the boys with me, right? Like. I bring, yeah, like yeah. like the the, whole, the goal is to continually create no organic way. content well, by yes. Yes. bringing people with you. Um, I've been in the military now 18 years. I still serve uh, as an Army Reservist, and and there, it brings a lot of joy to me when I go into the VA and I do projects with fellow veterans. How can you continue to serve other customers by possibly offering other? lines of business, get to know them and have them know you. What other capabilities do you have? And then the world opens up. If you just sit in your office and wait for your website to drive traffic, it doesn't work. But you got to find what works for you and then commit to one style. It's kind of like a, a diet, right? It, it doesn't matter what the plan is. The, 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 what matters is you have a plan and you stick with it. Find something and stick with it and make it a daily habit and then stick with those, those disciplined habits that are going to lead you to the success that you want. I, ha I hate pre-recorded shit. There's your fucking line. What's you're from you're from dirt, the Dirty Stalas? Dirty Stalas. God. Uh, Stalas. I'm stealing sunglasses. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm stealing sunglasses. All right. Here wrapping up Marketplace Wisconsin had a great day today. Started off the day on the stage, worked the vendor halls, sat down with the buyers meetings. It's been an amazing day. But today is all about relationships. As I went through the halls today, I'm not sitting there and pitching and selling and telling people what I do or how I do it. No, it's about developing relationships. Six years in a row I've attended this event. I come in, I show up, and that's what it's all about. I've been fortunate in the last couple months to go to a lot of conferences here in the Milwaukee area and throughout the country. It's all about showing up. People will often say, well, is it worth it? What's the ROI? You'll, you'll see it over time. You see it next year. You see it when they invite you up on stage. You see it when someone calls you six months from now and says, hey, I met you through this thing. Do you remember me? I want to buy your product or service. You see it when people connect with you on LinkedIn, re-engage with your content and you're top of mind. If you go into conferences, expos, conventions with this, I got to leave with dollars today. I got to leave with sales today. You have the wrong mindset. 
The mindset you need is what can I do today to provide value to the people here? And the best thing you do is show up, be real, be honest, be genuine, develop real relationships, and in time, the results, the KPIs, the money will come.